So I'm getting ready to make a maglev. Very much like you see Sky Collector. This is the one that I'm this is not his. This is this is one that I actually have. I'm I'm um designing it off of this. And then here's the end view. And so I got myself some 3 8 plexiglass, or acrylic, and I've been asking around on how to cut it and how to sand it, and I got some really good feedback, and it came out really nice. I mean, look at that. That's a cut side, and that's a cut side. I found the whole secret is what everybody was telling me is the speed of the drill and I used a bandsaw. I, I, I slowed mine down so I didn't get any melting. The speed. And I drilled these out and there was no melting at all. I was amazed. I dropped my my um, drill press down to 600 RPM. So the speed. Um, also how I feed the piece. I went real slow which also really helped. And also the grit sizes, you know, going down properly from, you know, a semi course for me all the way down to 1500. And it gave me a really nice finish. And I haven't even polished this yet. So I'm still working on the top part, which is still kind of rough. That's not a cut side. That's a cut side. And that came out really nice. And, and again, I haven't even polished yet. So I'm going to take my time. Here's the second one. Put the magnets in there. And then, of course, the mag level sit, you know, like this. And again, I designed it off of an existing one. This is one of those Mendocino motors. Ah, I should have brought it out. I could have showed you guys. Well, I'll, I'll take a video of it later on. But yeah, you know, um, I decided to go for it, even though I was kind of, you know, a couple of people said, listen, cutting it this way is not going to make it super accurate. But, you know, hey, I'm not looking to uh, recreate, you know, the Mona Lisa. I'm just trying to and double C. But, you know, I thought it came out pretty good so far. All right, there we go. I just have to finish, and I have to polish them, and then set up some sort of base, and then the hard part is I have to build the rotor. I have an idea how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to use um, some um, resin to fill. I ordered a really fine, thin-walled, um, copper tubing about a half a foot of it and first I'm going to use I don't know what happened to it oh here it is first I'm going to use one of these and I've got bar magnets that I'm going to put bar magnets all the way around just four of them put the shaft in there and fill it with resin. And that'll be like a prototype. And then once the, once the um, um, copper tubing comes in, I'll make the better one. So I did some testing with the magnets and this is a good distance. They actually attract a little bit further out, but I figured Better safe than sorry, but we'll see. I think I'm going to have to make the rotor a little bit on the heavy side, so I think it's going to work out. <laughs> 